Hey, Iowa City, Jane Welch, your recycling coordinator here, and I would like to invite you to join us for our week-long Go Beyond Recycling celebration as we count down to America Recycles Day on November 15th. This week, we'll be bringing you all of your favorite waste reduction topics, including reuse, repair, upcycling, and more. Today, we're actually going to be talking with you about consumer choice, and then every day leading up to that November 15th holiday, we will have a different topic that we're going to highlight. So stay tuned for those updates and resources. We'll have them shared daily on our Facebook page as well as our website. So as promised, today we're going to be talking about how you can make a difference as a consumer. Now we all know, we've all been experiencing it. 2020 has been a year like no other, but the constant is that we have continued to need groceries, toilet paper, toothpaste, school supplies, the list goes on. The point is we have continued to be consumers. Now I would like to challenge you to, again, back to our message of today with consumer choice, use your power as a consumer to make the world a better place. So be kind to our people, be kind to our planet, Yes, we actually do have a means to do that through the products that we choose to buy. We can make every dollar count by following these simple tips and labeling systems that I'm going to share with you all today. So the first one that we recommend looking out for when you're looking at different products at the store, products made with recycled content are very good. This is full circle. So this goes from you putting something in a recycling bin, it getting sent to a recycling plant, eventually made into new products, eventually ending up back in a store for the consumer, you, to show up at the store and purchase more products. So when you purchase those types of products, that's sending a message to the manufacturer that this is the type of sustainable packaging you want, which is a powerful message. In addition to the fact that it's completing that recycling process, making it a very successful system. So a few examples that I have for you today on this The other good news with this is if products are using recycled content, they're usually very proud to promote that. It is a very good label to add to your product. And so it's usually pretty easy to find out if a product does have recycled content in it. So this here is a perfume bottle. If we look at the back, we can see it says 100% recycled plastic bottle. A few other examples I have for you today. This is a backpack, and this is made of tent and tarp material. And then this right here is a computer sleeve, and this is made of recycled feed bags. So a few examples for you. Second tip we have for you, look for products that you can confirm are recyclable. And I use the word confirm. What I mean by that is I encourage you to check your local program. There are a lot of different products that have a recycling symbol on them. It can be fairly deceiving because it does not always mean that it is recyclable. So look to your local program to find out exactly what materials are accepted, exactly what can be recycled. We have all that information at icgov.org slash recycle. One example for you on a a material that very much represents this category in terms of being a confusing material is this right here. So anything that is a plastic film or bag or wrap Uh, This is a type of material that oftentimes does have a recycling symbol on it. Sometimes it has a number four recycling symbol on it. This unfortunately is not a traditionally recyclable material in curbside or drop-off programs. Uh, There are occasionally take-back programs, special sort of like what we have at our grocery stores where they have plastic bag recycling programs, but it is not traditionally a recyclable material that you can put just in your curbside bin or at one of our recycling drop-off locations. It just requires a little bit different processing. So always look to that local program to see what can be accepted, what can go in that blue bin. Next up, we have some labeling systems we wanna share with you. So the first one being fair trade certified. So these are products that could be anything from food to home goods. There's a whole variety here. This label supports safe and fair working conditions also environmental protection, and it helps to promote and build sustainable communities. So there is a lot behind this label. There are a lot of places, too, that you can buy fair trade products in Iowa City. And actually, there is a map. If you're looking for where to get fair trade products, if you're wondering more about uh, what fair trade products are, there is a map image of Iowa City. If you go to the Fair Trade Campaign's Iowa City website, you can check that out. Again, if you want to learn more about this labeling system, also check out the Fair Trade Certified website. There's a lot of information about really what this, what the meaning is behind this certification. 
Next up, we have the Rainforest Alliance labeling system. So you may know this symbol, especially on coffee products. There are a lot of other products, a whole range of other types of brands and products that also represent Rainforest Alliance. So two that I want to share with you all today is soap. Here is a uh, bar of soap, coconut. And if we look to the back, again, we see the frog image for Rainforest Alliance. The second one is toilet paper. So I've got a container of toilet paper here. And if we look, we can see the frog. Uh, so what does the frog mean? Well, this represents a product that helps to support a sustainable partnership between the companies that are making products, the farmers, and also those forested communities. So it's really meant to be a sustainable system. Again, check out Rainforest Alliance website if you want to learn more about that. They also do have a good list on their website of what types of products are certified as Rainforest Alliance. The third labeling system we want to talk to you about today is USDA Organic. This label is typically seen on food and beverage products. So the example I have for you today is chicken broth. And if we can see down here in the corner, USDA Organic, this ensures that the products you're buying have organic ingredients in them. It also means that in the farming practices of food, uh, there are less chemicals used and there are much more natural processes in that food production. Last but not least for our tips today, we recommend you look for products that are locally made, made in Iowa. So it could be Iowa City, could be our region, could be the state of Iowa, or it could be made in the USA. So products that are made closer to home that helps to support local economy, local craftsmen, also helps to reduce those greenhouse gas emissions that are associated with transportation. So a few examples for you on made in the USA. Here I have a hair product. And if we look to the back, we can see here made in the USA. The other one I have for you, and this actually has a few very good labels on it. On the front here, it's 100% recycled bottle. So this is laundry detergent. And then on the back here, it also says made in the USA. So again, some of those labels are pretty easy to find because they're good for business, showing that you care about the environment with the types of products that the manufacturer is making. Uh, so oftentimes they are easy to see on the label of a product. Now, there are a whole lot of other sustainable certifications out there uh, beyond what we've covered today. I do encourage you to learn more, do your own research, uh, become conscious about the different types of products that are out there, what options you have for sustainable brands, sustainable packaging. And the message that I will leave you all with today, the purchases that we make do send a message to the manufacturers about the types of products we as consumers demand. So how products are made, where they come from, who makes them, and how those workers are treated are all factors that relate back to sustainability. And you as a consumer do have the power to support products that protect and advocate for our people and our planet. So this week we are celebrating America Recycles Day, but as you can see, we are going beyond recycling. We're talking about a lot of great topics this week. Thank you all very much for joining us today, and we really hope you join us for the rest of the week in celebrating and leading up to America Recycles Day. Thank you.